Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to talk about one of the useful tools for software testers, that is Bagasura issue tracking tool, which is a free tool. And also at the same time, paid tool also. So when it is free, this tool is free when you have a team size of less than six people. That means five people, up to five people, Bagasura issue tracking tool is free. But above five people, you have to pay the amount for each and every percentage, okay? So if in case you have a team size, you know, less than six people, then you can use this Bagasura tool for reporting the defects and tracking them and for free if you have less than six people. But above six people, this is not free, guys, okay? Now let's explore this uh, Bagasura issue tracking tool and know how to use this tool in a practical manner, fine? So I'll just uh, click on new tab here and uh, I'll Google search for something that is Bagasura, I'll search. Bagasura and say issue tracking, issue tracking tool and press enter. So here uh, you see Bagasura.io is coming. Bagasura bug tracker for modern teams. You see this tool is uh, you know designed for modern teams. Okay, so I'll select this option, that link. You are taken to this website page, Bagasura issue tracker, issue tracker that Jira couldn't build. Okay, such kind of Bagasura tool that is that's uh, very modern based. A tool for reporting the defects. So you see, go freemium is there. Okay, I want to go for freemium. Freemium means free, guys. Okay, for you, if you want to pay any amount, you can you can check the pricing size. When I click on the pricing, you see, pay only when you grow. You see, up to five users, you can use this Bagasura defect tracking tool for free. You don't have to pay any amount. But uh, you know, more than five users, then if you have six users, let's say, let's say if you have six users in your team. You have to go with the pro version and for each and every user you have to pay five dollars per month per user per month that is at this moment when i am recording this session it's five dollars tomorrow this price may change we don't know so five six or thirty dollars you have to pay here okay if you have six people one people extra also thirty dollars you have to pay here okay up to 100 users it's like that okay the plan so for now just for demonstration right uh, just for exploring and if you are, and if you are lucky enough that your team size is uh, less than six, then you can definitely apply this or use this Bagasura tool for taking defect tracking purpose, okay? And defect reporting and tracking purpose. Let's go with the free one. You have the yearly plans also, okay? If you pay yearly, right, uh, it will be they will be charging three point seven five dollar per month, okay? Once at a time for a year you are paying means so you will get instead of five dollars you are getting for three point seven five. That's also good. Let's try now. And it's asking me to sign up, uh, you know, I can, you know, uh, give my email password and create an account. That's one way. Or I can use my existing Gmail account to sign up directly. I'll go with the existing Gmail account. Uh, Gmail authentication will be done automatically here. With the help of Gmail, I'm logging into this Bagasura tool. So the moment I have logged in, right, I am, I was, I am taken to this, you know, this uh, kind of projects page. Here, there are no projects at this moment. I need to create a project, guys. I'll click on create project and I have to mention the project name. Let's say I want to report some defects related to this tutorials Ninja application. I'll simply type tutorials ninja.com slash demo and press enter. And uh, I'll be taken to this application page, guys. Okay. So let's let's find a defect in this application. Let's say I have a defect in this application. So let's say I'll go to the register page. And here I'll enter all the details. So in place of telephone number, I'm giving some alphabets, which is not correct, right? Telephone number cannot be alphabets. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, alphabets I'm giving. Then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Some password, random password I'm giving. But here telephone number should not be accepted in alphabets. Telephone number should be in numbers, right? But I'm giving alphabets. So if I select this privacy policy and click on continue button, I should get an error saying that uh, account should not be created rather the warning message should come saying that uh, you have to enter a valid telephone number such kind of warning message I should get but when I click on continue button what's happening okay I have to give a different email address guys okay so let's give a different uh, email address we are getting a different warning message but that's okay because I have to give a different uh, new email account but uh, telephone number is still alphabets only. If I click on continue with by giving an invalid telephone number here, I should get a warning. But if I click on continue, the account is getting created. There's a problem guys. okay? There's a defect in this application where you are able to create an account with an invalid telephone number. Okay, you are able to create an account with an invalid 
telephone number. If I give alphabets also, the telephone number field is taking as. This defect I want to report is this defect I want to report. So this application is Tutorials Ninja application. So I'll just name this project or name also as Tutorials Ninja project, okay? And I need to select my team. I can create a team also, guys, okay? So for now, I'm not creating anything. Let, uh, or uh, if I click on this, what will happen? Team name, Tutorials Ninja team. I can invite the people, different people into my team, guys, okay? I'll add one more person. Let's see. Click on add. So my owner is a remotary and you know member is like this. I can create few more people also. Up to five people. I can use this tool for free, guys. Okay, I can keep on adding five people. Tutorials, ninja videos, as the I'm just giving all my all the email IDs I have with me. So for for example, I create three. Three people and simply click on uh, create. The team will be created and selected for this project. Is it going to be private or public? Public project means you can access this project outside, uh, you know, uh, whatever the activities you are doing here are visible outside. Okay. So let's keep it private only. Why, why to make it public? And uh, my machine is uh, which machine? Desktop web application. Okay. Desktop web. My machine is a uh, desktop application, guys. Okay. Then what else we have? Simply click on create project. The project will be created, guys. A new, the new way to choose which is faster. And uh, this is a project we are. If you again go to this project section, if you again go to this project, so you'll see that. Just wait. You see, you are taken to the project team projects where only one project is there. That is to have to select the project, guys, which is a private one where all the defects reported inside this project are not visible outside. Only for this uh, team members, they can access. Other people cannot access. Now, let's say I want to report the defects, guys, okay? I want to report the defects in this, uh, you know, tutorial. Yeah, I'll simply click on add issue. And here I need to mention the defect details. That is, uh, user is able to, user is able to, create an account with invalid phone number. Description, here I'll write steps to reproduce what are the steps we have, what is this option, show more items, okay. So they, uh, they are saving the uh, space here, guys. okay. If you want to select something in board, you can do that. I want to select some items. Let's say I want to bullet items here. I'll add the bullets. And I want to, you know, select this and say bold. Steps to reproduce is converted to bold. Here I'll write uh, open application URL in any browser, say Chrome. Okay. Navigate to, navigate to register page. Navigate to register page. Navigate to register page. Enter all the details. Otherwise, all the valid details. All the valid details. Like this, you report a defect case. Okay, I'm give, creating a sample defect before you. Enter all the valid details into the all the fields in fields in register. Yeah, one minute. Let me write down here. Register account page except which field? Except telephone field. Enter invalid. Telephone, say A, B, C, D, E, F, E, H, I, like the some tel invalid telephone. Enter invalid telephone, say into the telephone field. Then uh, select privacy policy. 
checkbox field and click on continue button so when you click on the continue button what should happen what should be the uh, what is expected result here what should actually happen what is expected result here What is expected result here? The expected result is, when you click on the continue button, user should get a warning message informing that an invalid, an invalid uh, phone number is entered into the telephone field then actual result on this and say dot what actually is happening we should get this warning message but in actual what is happening in actual we are not getting a warning message when we are testing that particular thing of functionality we are not getting a warning message rather the account is getting created okay rather account is getting created with given invalid telephone number okay with a given invalid telephone telephone number the account is getting created guys i want to assign this defect to the developers so first of all this is a defect right i'll select this as a bug okay i'll select that as a bug and uh mm, i'll simply say it's of you know severity is low for this okay so it doesn't matter like uh you know see impact of this particular defect on the application is kind of low so I'll select low here for CVRD and it is a new defect. Newly I'm reporting the defect. And if I want to add some tags, I can add something. This is related to register account, right? I'll create a tag here. I'll say create tag, register, or register. I'll simply say register, I'll say simply create and uh, I need to add the tag that is register tag, simply. Select this, okay, why it's not adding. Add tag, just select this register. But not this one, this one, register, that's enough. You can have multiple tags, that's okay. For now, I'm categorizing only into this register tag. Any customized fields they are giving, but let's not explore that. Let's not go into that detail, okay? So you can explore by yourself if you want. Now here, the important fields I'm talking about, I want to assign this to the developer. I'll click on this plus icon and uh, my team members are coming. Let's say here, uh, this person is a developer, okay? Arun Motor is tester and Aram Priyanka is developer. I'll select this Aram Priyanka. And after that, I need to attach screenshot. How to attach a screenshot? I have to take a screenshot here. Let me capture a screenshot. There are some tools, guys, in the market for uh, taking the screenshots also. If we have a free tool like, uh, you know, light shot kind of free tool is also there. We can use that also. You see, we can create an account, right? This is a problem. Hmm. I'll draw it, simply write down, this is a problem, okay? Invalid email number, okay? We can also add some text here with one of the screenshot taking tool. This is whatever I'm using. Invalid phone number is accepted by this field. Accept by this field, okay? Like this, I'll take a screenshot, say, okay, save this. I'll just save it on my desktop or somewhere. Invalid phone number. Register. Just give some, you know, kind of uh, readable name and save it. And now go to the tool, defect tracking tool that is Bagasura, Bagasura issue tracking tool. Now click on this browse and uh, upload that attachment. I just stored on my machine. Where is that? This is the one screenshot I have taken. I'm attaching the screenshot here, you see invalid phone number screenshot has been attached. You see device or system details uh, on which uh, device on Windows, my operating system is 11. And uh, I have used yes, Opera browser, right? You see it's automatically taking my browser details. I didn't enter them, but it's taking automatically guys, okay? 
then resolution also it's taking and Wi-Fi network type is taking. You see a lot of things it's taking automatically. So smart this tool is, right? Very advanced tool. Click on add issue, a defect will be created, guys. Okay, Bagasura will create the defect. Let's wait. You see, the defect has been created. Now there is some board, guys, where you can see the pen, uh, new in progress and closed. Uh, when you report a defect, right, it will be in new state. And once the developers will start fixing the defect, it will go to the in progress. And uh, later, once the defect is uh, fixed and uh, retested by uh, fixed by developers and retested by the testers as confirmed, right, as working fine, right, it will be moved to the closed state. Okay. So issues are in this state, and uh, there is something like activity. Okay, what activities are going on? Sprints kind of thing is there. Okay, I uh, don't have to go that much detail. We'll just go to, let's say, overview kind of stuff. Let's explore this. This is very big application. A lot of things. You see new new issues. One defect is there. CVRD is low. You see a lot of reports are also coming. You see, Di overall dashboard for defects is coming. Very good tool, you can see. Tags used, that is, uh, you know, whatever the tag I have used. Uh, the restart tag, that is. Mm, then Windows 11. Only one issue is there. So any updates for that particular defect being done are being shown here. That's fine. And apart from that, what is there? My dashboard. Click on the dashboard. Okay. This is the project you select. And you will get this. Okay. You see, whatever the defect you reported is coming, user is able to create an account with invalid phone number. There is nothing but the issues tab here directly you can go there and uh, total issues new in progress closed in progress zero is there and close zero is there guys okay this is a board view this is a list view guys whatever we are seeing is a list view and they can change that to the board view when you where you can see this this process okay new you see remaining are not are not there so in, these are coming like this if you have some defects under them they will come horizontally they are coming vertically because there are zero defects here in all these categories Fine. So, so sophisticated tool, guys. Okay. So sophisticated tool. You just click on the defect tracking, and you know uh, you can see the screenshot here. If the if it is assigned to a developer, and developer will open the uh, defect reported by you, they will see something like this. Okay. You see, some unique ID has been generated by this tool. Okay, for this particular defect, and it is currently in the new state. Mm, different states are there still. Okay, for this particular defect report, screenshot is coming. This is different states like in progress, fixed, not fixed, released, cancelled, closed. Different states are there. You see, whatever the updates are going on, right? Uh, people will keep on writing the comments here, okay? So, developer will say that have fixed the defect, tester will say that have retested the defects and is working fine on so on so version. Any other extra attachments to be put for, you know, uh, if required, that will go into the attachments kind of stuff. All the tracking things are being done. You see, so sophisticated tool, guys. Okay. So you can copy this link or and share it uh, to LinkedIn and everywhere. Okay. So, so this is one of the free tool, guys, and also very good and advanced tool that we have in the market. And the two for free for the people, uh, for if you have the team size of less than six people. So, hope, guys, uh, you understood how to use this bug, uh, Bagasura issue tracking tool, which is free for less than six people in this session. So, that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.